this was so rich. I really heard a lot about the importance of governance and about paying attention to how things are done and about the importance of these emerging global action networks that function by allowing stakeholders to express themselves, to empower themselves. The importance of facilitation as opposed to leading. The importance of creating a coalition of the committed. The one I would pick is uh, the intervention from the two ladies, one from Uganda and one from Kenya, uh, on the importance of empowering local women. Uh, in especially in extension and really helping in mobi mobilizing communities so that the extension messages can, be, can become very effective. Uh, there was a very strong message this morning from the keynote speaker that some of the approaches and methods that have been used in the past, uh, perhaps quite successfully in the past, uh, may not now be appropriate for the world that we're living in now and, and I guess the world between now and 2030. For me one key message was that to be able to achieve the SDGs we need a global partnership. So we can't continue to do business as usual. We need to change our mode of delivery. And in doing so we need to have a more multi-sectoral approach. We need to have a more holistic way of dealing with the issues. One really struck me and it's the, the emphasis by many speakers uh, from Africa, colleagues from Africa but also others, um, on investing in the enabling environment for farmers and farm communities and women so that they can actually do, uh, do what we expect them to do and that's develop their community and their, uh, their agriculture. And also the emphasis on the importance of the enabling environment, the infrastructure, the land tenure uh, for, um, for having a chance of, of making agriculture more sustainable and more inclusive. And you recall that statement, it will be wrong if we think business is going to continue as usual. I think for me that recognition is great. And I like that forward-looking aspect of this meeting that's really saying, well, What's our ideal? What's the, the dream that we aspire to in 15 years' time? And how do we get there? So I think we all need to do that, to look much more at the desired future and then shape our present to get to that future. The repeated call for the development community to align their priorities on the priorities of the countries. If you are to support countries to transform their agriculture or to transform the rural areas. You should make sure that whatever you are doing is adding to the effort that are already ongoing. So I think the presentations really showcase that we, we have a bit different agenda now than we were thinking about some few years ago. Uh, and SDGs also brings in quite some new thinking that we all have to address one way or another. Uh, but I think also when, when you had the, the next round of presentations, which were much more grounded down to earth, uh, we still have some basic challenges that haven't gone away. Uh, how do you reach out to farmers and the households with extension, with markets? The first one I had is the recognition by donor representative that they are quite aware that the money that they give to developing countries take such a long route before it fights its way to the communities. And the second thing that for me I take from here is that the, the, the recognition that there is no like, visible dichotomy between the rural and the urban.